Hello everyone, James Nussbaumer of jamesnussbaumer.com and today I want to discuss lesson three of a course in miracles in the workbook for students. You know this this lesson number three is good for me when I feel as though I've sown some bad seeds. And For example, there was an event um, that in my life that had uh, caused me to really spiral downwards and um, I ended up in a state penitentiary for eight years for a foolish securities violation as a financial advisor and uh, there actually is where I stumbled into A Course in Miracles uh, which is hardly ever uh, found in, in prisons anywhere uh, you know unlike the Bible that's everywhere but uh, you'd think that the Course in Miracles would be there more plentiful but it's not but anyways my point is is when I realized that I really didn't sow any bad seeds I had just planted them on wrong-minded ground and so when I feel as though that I've uh, from a, a wrong choice that I may have made that bothers me and I want to scold myself for planting some bad seeds sowing bad seeds. I, I always revert back to lesson number three. In fact, all of the lessons, uh, the 365 lessons, I've been over several, several times for the many years I've been involved in the course. I really love the text myself more than more than anything at all, but you know, the, the lessons give you a break from the text because the text is quite abstract. But let's go over lesson number three right now. So if you ever feel as though that you've sown some bad seeds, uh, this is what helps me just to go back to this lesson and, and review it. The lesson title is called uh, I do not understand anything I see in this room on this street from the window in this place. Apply this idea in the same way as the previous ones without making distinctions of any kind. Whatever you see becomes a proper subject for applying the idea. Be sure that you do not question the suitability of anything for application of the idea. These are not exercises in judgment. Anything is suitable if you see it. Some of the things you see may have emotionally charged meaning for you. Try to lay such feelings aside and merely use these things exactly as you would anything else. The point of the exercises is to help you clear your mind of all past associations, to see things exactly as they appear to you now, and to realize how little you really understand about them. It is therefore essential that you keep a perfectly open mind, unhampered by judgment, in selecting the things to which the idea for the day is to be applied. For this purpose, one thing is like another equally suitable and therefore equally useful. Once again, I'll repeat the, the title of that lesson. I do not understand anything I see in this room, on the street, from this window, in this place. That's lesson number three in the workbook for students of A Course in Miracles. And um, uh, that's just what helps me is when I feel as though I've sown bad seeds it helps me to turn things around and realize, you know, it really wasn't the seeds weren't bad. It was just the wrong-minded, uh, unfertile ground that I planted them in. And then that makes me feel better. And I leave the judgment that I once had for myself behind and let it go and know how to surrender it. And when we do that, according to A Course in Miracles, overlooking those errors, that's the definition of forgiveness. And when we live by that definition, everyday miracles are performed through us. God bless you.